get out there. Let's just give it our best. That's all the sports about, all right? What do you, what do you want to do? I want to redo my intro. Oh, yeah. All right, what's up, YouTube? We are heading to Kremlin, Colorado. I'm with Tim and Creative, Ben, Joe, and Max is back from the beach and his family vacation hiatus. Uh, it's an exciting week to just get out of Colorado and just enjoy the week with the new guys and get to know all the new guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kremlin's at like 8,000 feet altitude, so it'll be good. We're all kind of in strength-based training right now. Uh, with some potential races coming up in August, so we're excited to just get some team bonding and yeah, just spend some time together when we're all together, just staying in the same place. So, looking forward to it. Stay tuned for more. Kremlin's a beautiful place. Um, we've got three cameras here because that's definitely not enough. We might have to add one more into the mix. We'll have, we'll have to see by the end of the week. I brought three myself. Joe, did you bring a rain jacket? No, it's you're sleeping in the tent tonight. <laughs> I wish we could get a picture of your camera so people could see what you're working we'll with. We'll put that in there for sure. We'll get this on here. Like, I need a clip of Joe. All right, guys. This weekend, this we're going to be filming on my sister's PowerShot A1100 image stabilizer AIAF. Uh, Joe, did this... she take that to Israel with her on birthright? <laughs> I think she actually did. That's a... <laughs> did, uh... If you were a kid, did anyone else watch the raindrops on the windows race? Drop, drop a comment below. I did. He made me turn on my camera just to say that. Everyone, you, you know what I'm saying? Everyone that <laughs> you know pulled up, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about 10 minutes outside of Kremlin. We pulled off to check out a view. Just look at this beautiful camping spot right here. Imagine just having a bonfire right here and just camping. Sam, me, romantic. It's all right here. <laughs> all right, I think everyone's made it here, so Team Summit 2020 has officially begun. What are we watching right now? NCAA Sean McGordy signs. Okay. Sean McGordy signs is leading over contract right after this race. Uh oh. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. Parsons Fisher side by side. Let's go read. Dude, 10K next year. Read, dude. So there's a lot of bugs out here. The key to keeping the bugs away is when they spray, they bite you. That's when you spray, not before. <laughs> I really want to spray it on the lens, but I won't. <laughs> One toss, everyone knows the rules. That's what we do before we leave. <laughs> One splash, everyone knows the rules. <laughs> hey, dude. Hey. Morning. I was just thinking Sweet about you. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. Sam still sleeping? Yeah, I have not seen him, so yeah. What's up, stabbing cabin boys? How was it? We did not sleep in the stabbing cabin. Alright, so, how many bodies have been killed in here? I don't know. Drew slept in his car, and Connor and I slept in my tent. <laughs> yeah. With the and massage the night, remember, table yeah, in the Connor, tent. Connor slept on Marcus's massage table inside the tent. So let me tell you how I slept, in the guys. Drew's car. I slept slanted down on a hill with my head down here. My legs feel incredible this morning. No lactic acid whatsoever. It all went to my brain. It's because I have a migraine. <laughs> Jermaine, what's your first impression of this spot? Pretty crappy, honestly. <laughs> Got mountains going for days, no, no grocery stores, no malls. No town, no suburban area. I'd Kentucky, much, I, would, I would much rather be in, yeah, I don't know. There's not Richmond, one Kentucky, you know. No, I really like it. Yeah. Like, I've never seen anything quite like it. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a, a mixture between like Boulder and the countryside. How far did you go? Uh, an hour this morning. 
We we'll probably do another hour later. You were burned um, up. Fifty miles. <clears throat> yeah. Am I injured? Yes. Freshman year, baby. Come on, save that. Sophomore. Yes. Yeah. All right. You look a little bit like Zach. Thirteen Lee. strain That's really from one ride. That's nice. Uh, Second ride's gonna really bump you up there. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, 252 HRV. <laughs> 41 resting heart rate. Six hours and 34 minutes of sleep. <laughs> see, it just goes to show you kids, you don't need to sleep. <laughs> just have a good heart. How are we looking this yeah, morning, no, Reed? Yeah. How Not bad. Grandma Got right uh, eight hours, eight minutes yeah, of sleep, crushing. despite sleeping uh, on yeah. a yeah. camping so mattress badass. below Connor yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the yeah, massage yeah, table in a tent in a sleeping bag. So 70% recovery. Ready to get after this easy day. Oh, the Brogan, what's Don't on deck today? Uh, on deck today, most of the guys are going to do an hour with some strides. Uh, guys who are a little banged up are just going to do some easy running. And beautiful Colorado. So. New guy! Woo! Finally some new guys talking to the camera. This will be hey. good. Reviews of the run so far? It's alright. I mean, I've done a couple better runs, you know. <laughs> no, it's stunning. <laughs> it's beautiful out here. It's so fucking hot. It's fucking it's awesome. Fucking <laughs> 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 awesome. <laughs> the run, 6.50, that's the Mud River down there. Hi. The grinders of the day. This is the good at running crew right here. <laughs> Hammered from the gun and in strides. This is the Thursdays or what matter, ignore Friday's workout crew. <laughs> this is the 13 tender bus crew. Yeah. Come on, Joe. Joe, grab my ankles. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying the worst job is the person who grabs the ankles. Yeah. Because you're getting pulled down with them. Yeah, you fuck up their dead. I'm yeah. done. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no. All right, run just finished up. We're done driving. Time for some strides. They're doing them on the highway. They're doing them up a mountain. So cute cool. as always. Yeah, you though. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I was just driving by and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna yell. Yeah, Sorry yeah. to scare you. Yeah, no. Connor and I looked at each other and we were like, did you yell at something? That's, that's wild, man. Right now? Okay. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? That's How was it today? It was beautiful. That was probably one of the most beautiful runs I've ever done in my that's life, man. Just big rolling hills, just amazing views, and just good guys. It was fun. We had some fun laughing, goofing around, looking off the cliff. So, always a good day to be a Tin Man and have. Fans show up out of the middle of nowhere screaming at you on the highway. What the hell is happening? <laughs> but that's how life is, I guess. In Kremlin. Boy, you look like a bird's nest. <laughs> Are you up with Marcus next? Yeah. 
I am so tired. I'm gonna fall asleep on that table. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, pretty good. The only thing that's like, I think, like, just want you to like work through like kind of here. Like my like, I think it was from the drive yesterday. So this is new. A lot of the work will be more pre-race unless there's something really significant to treat. Um, just to keep the tissue as healthy and functional and normalized as possible without tiring it out or fatiguing the system. Depending on how each individual athlete responds, some of that's going to be up to Coach Lee figuring out which athlete should go where. Do, do they respond better the day before a workout for treatment or should we wait and do it after the workout so they're not as fatigued? It just depends on individual athletes. Um, and so pre-race is a lot of just moderate movement, moderate pressure, making sure the joint moves through its full range of motion without any um, snags there, without any feelings of restriction uh, um, relative to their subjective experience in their own body. Pretty much every guy on the team right now would have been already done with the Olympic trials. And I think a lot of us are pretty bummed out from that with the lack of racing and lack of any sort of normalcy in all of our lives. Um, I think we wanted to kind of get away and break the routine a bit. So that's why we're in Kremlin. It's a, you know, it's a small, tiny little mountain town at 8,000 feet. It's like two hours outside of Boulder and it's beautiful. It's a good place for all of us to be together um, because that's what we would have been at the Olympic trials. And so I think just trying to get some mojo, swagger back in, you know, our team and just, just get excited about 2021. You guys have heard this spiel before. Come on. Only reason I'm here is for the suffering. That's why we're at 7,500 feet. About to do a track workout. We don't have races. We're just here to suffer.